Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. We're continuing our playthrough as the uh, the old king of Africa here. And we have recently took over a pretty substantial chunk of the Abbasid Empire. It looks like a combination of us going to war and them being massively in debt has led, like really, really in debt, has led to some of their territories breaking away, which is creating kind of areas of opportunity for us to potentially, uh, you know, eat a bigger chunk of land without having to go back to war with them right away. Uh, although we did recently stomp them pretty good and their military is now about half the size of ours. So we kind of successfully placated them, uh, which puts us in a pretty good spot. Uh, vassal wise, I am above the limit by a little bit. So Currently, the problem I have is I have no money. So let's see what our options are here. Um, low county control. Where is this county? Yeah, I don't care about this county. So who should this belong to? Should belong in this duchy, which doesn't exist. Should belong in this kingdom, which does exist. Okay. I think I'm going to grant this guy this title. Ooh, greedy. That's a problem. So that would put me over on stress, which I don't want to do right now. And the guy has 100%, so... I'm not overly concerned about it, but All right. is there a duchy? There is, but we can't create it. I need to consolidate and get rid of one of these vassals. Okay, so this guy, if I give him this vassal, that does increase my stress, but it does make this guy happier. He's not incredibly appeased with me at the moment um yeah i knew that was gonna happen um can we make an alliance with this guy no okay so there's not much we can do here All right, this is going to be a little bit of an issue. So this guy's not in the best state with us, although we did make him just a little bit happier. We're already scheming with that guy. So six months, he'll be potentially a little happier with us. Still not quite there. I can give him an artifact. Let's see if we got some old crappy artifact. I have no problem getting rid of. Uh, yeah, let's give him that artifact. Can cheer him up a little bit. What else can we do here? We got money coming in. Who can we ransom? Is there anybody we can ransom that I want to ransom? This guy is my rival and has kingdom title available to us, so I do not want to get rid of him. Let's uh, make sure we exclude him from any mass actions. That guy, this guy. All right, everybody else. I think I can. All right, who's the person getting sold? Probably this guy. Let's see if I can get to 250. Okay, that will at least get me. I mean, ideally, I'd get to a kingdom. If I get 500, I can get a kingdom. And then I can consolidate some of these guys. And I think that's what I want to do. I need to use, usurp this kingdom. Okay, 100%. Oh, they lose opinions. So there's a 30% chance. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with that. 
So five months. In two months, I should be able to buy a kingdom. Or usurp this title. Let's see what happens here. All right, one more month. I should be able to usurp this title. Oh boy. How did he get in, in power there? You will blind and imprison this guy. Interesting. Interesting choices. So my heir is going to die in either scenario. That's interesting. Okay. So I think we usurp this kingdom. Okay. And then we give the title to somebody that we want to take over. Which I thought I thought we had replaced these with our people. Yeah. So I'm gonna give him I'm going to give my son the kingdom title. And then everybody that is currently like discontent with me kind of folds underneath him. And there goes our faction problem. Well, at least a little bit. Um, Empty council position. That would be the angry people. Let's go ahead and add this guy to the council. He is much happier with me now. Uh, let's assign this guy to the count. This guy's terrible for stewardship purposes. So let's add this guy to the council. What? Trying to promote the culture? Okay. It should be all right. Now. Okay, so Satharian has taken over a large swath of territory here. But I think we have to keep uh, kind of keep pressing it and try to try to get everything converted. I mean, it helps when our dukes and and kings kind of have the same faith because they push that religion down through their own territories. They do what I'm doing right now. Um, I don't think I need to do that. Okay, so who, who is my heir now that that child died? Oh, did he not die? It said he was going to die. Or maybe there was a percentage thing that I missed. But I thought it was like a for sure thing that he was going to die. Interesting. Okay, I will accept this. I don't really have a problem with that he wants to ransom himself I think he should just die because he tried to murder my child but I could use the money and money is always useful who's his heir I, you know what? I'm going to start swaying his heir so that when he does die and his heir inherits, at least his heir will be happy with me. Okay. So we are, again, strapped for cash quite a bit. But that's okay. We're still in the positive. At least there's that. Let's go ahead and look at our royal court. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I think I'm in a pretty good state at the moment. At least we avoided... We avoided our heir getting murdered, and we avoided any serious consequences from uh, the rebellion. So that is all good. I like people inviting me to the parties because my, uh, my guy is a reveler. And it reduces stress, so it's like free stress reduction. 
Uh, although, <laughs> sometimes there's events like this where... All right. Let's do that. I do not completely control this region yet. All right, Famous Reveler. That's good. That increases the stats even more. Now, at this point, I'm just waiting to get enough uh, money banked up so we can go to war over here. Because Nubia is next on the chopping block. I think uh, a holy war... Should be fine. I don't think I need to go as far as do a great holy war. But we can go to war there. And then if we have time... Oh, come on. Stop with the stress stuff. If we have time, we can press up here and try to take this territory. But I need... I need my guy to be... Um, the guy that I currently have in prison... I'm going to need to make him, as a matter of fact, let me go in and do that now. I'm going to need to recruit him. That's the wrong guy. This guy. Okay, so I'm going to need to negotiate his release. All right, he is not my vassal. I don't want to release him. I don't know if I have a choice. Too bad he's my rival. I wish he wasn't my rival. Um, yeah. What the heck? Why not? Alright, I do not seem to be able to actually do anything with this guy. I was hoping I could make, I could, like, give him something. Um, am I using this? I don't think I am. Let's take a look at our inventory. No. So I don't need that. That can be destroyed. Antiquarian, I probably should hire somebody. Because that will reduce the rate of decay on these things. Looks like we are kind of whittling down some of these. We used to have just a ton of things. So I'm, I'm kind of glad we're kind of whittling it down at this point. This weapon isn't necessarily the best. Uh, raid speed is pretty useless to me. I, I think advantage is better, but the prowess it gives is massive. So for that purpose, I think I'm going to keep it. But right, let's go ahead and uh, you could be a rival. I don't care. All right, let's see here. There we go. Ah, eh, let's do that. I do not want the trait drunkard. All right, this is probably not enough money to start a war, but I am getting a little itchy. Um, I feel like we have to start a war pretty soon. At, we're starting to get the at peace penalty, which is never a good thing. Uh, all right, so I don't know if I could actually do anything with this guy that's in my prison. Like as much as I'd like to try to abuse the fact that this guy has. There's just nothing I can do. I mean, I could torture him. <laughs> there we go. Get a little dread built up. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, extensive. Good oversight. I think this is good. Yeah, that, that that's all right. Let's go ahead and look at a new martial trait, Household Guard. That's the one I was going for. Number Knights plus four, which is pretty massive. Uh, I think we can go ahead and just allow... Yeah, we have plenty of people available to be Knights. 
So really effective champions. I think that is all going to be very good. Uh, yeah, automatically populated. So that is fine. I think what we should do is increase the size of our, our tray buckets. I think that is probably a good decision, although it is pretty costly. Just speeds up the, the speed of sieges and stuff. Uh, I think we can go with that. All right, maybe I'll wait to get a little over 600 before I declare a war. Don't want anybody. All right, I think I'm going to just ransom this guy off. I, I can't really do anything with him. I was hoping I would be able to. And I think I even ransom this guy off. I think that's fine. He can't really do much to me at the moment. As far as like anything negative. That gives me enough cash to start my war. So I think we can go ahead and do that. Do a holy war for this kingdom. Take over this section. I think Nubia is the way we want to go. That's just a small, small chunk. We could always take that later. Oh, looks like they are currently fighting in our territory anyway. So that should work out pretty well for us, I think. Let's go ahead and recruit our army here. And we'll consolidate everyone into this region. And then we can hopefully go smack this guy real quick before he can do any actual damage. Alright, crime cannot go unpunished. They gotta go to jail. That does mean, though, I can ransom them. And I just... What good is this guy gonna be? His kingdom is, like, way far away. He could inherit, I guess. We could try... Can't demand his conversion because my guess is he's uh, zealous. Yep. I'm not going to... Yeah, let's go ahead and recruit this guy. Bring him into our court. I think that is... I don't think we're going to do anything with him right now. But at least we'll have somebody with his... title in our court and inheriting. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do it 60, 60, so it's pretty evenly split. Let's go smack this guy with this. Let's go up here and take over their capital. And then I think we'll just split up and keep keep sieging the rest of this stuff. But this one combat's probably going to be pretty massive. I don't know how they managed to take this over. All right, he's... Hopefully, we'll catch up to him. Looks like we're going to catch him there. There's not much you can do about it. All right. I'm surprised he actually has a benefit over us, but that's all right. We still stomped him. We have way more troops than they do. This is the wrong group. I want the one with the siege equipment to stay there. And the other one can go march away and take back this territory. Oh, cool. We're back to having discontented people. All right, well, this guy is a real thorn in my side. I should have probably kept him in prison. <laughs> Releasing him was a bad decision. All right, these are all kingdom titles. You're not. You're a duke. You're a king. You're only 8%. You're not going to make the difference. Yeah, you are related to me. So you're mad because you aren't on the council. But you're not good enough to be on the council.
Hmm. Dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. All right, this guy should be happier with me than he is. Did I murder him? No, it's a pretty small chance. Man, I really should have not let that guy go. That was definitely a mistake. Alright, we have some dread built up. How dreadful are we? Not that dreadful. I think we need to build up some more dread. Can we do some pretty bad things? This guy I can ransom. This guy I can execute. Will it give me dread? Doesn't look like it. It'll just give me stress for no reason. Okay, I am not seeing any benefit to executing people. It is not giving me any sort of dread. Maybe they have to be in my same... There we go. That's my nephew. Doesn't really have any money. So we could release him, gain a wee cook. Ransom everyone else. Alright, is there anything I can do to prevent this, this situation from triggering? I don't think there is. So if I put this guy on my council... It would suck, because he's kind of garbage. But, he would become happy with me. This guy's not nearly as powerful, and he's pretty happy with me as it is. And he's afraid of me, because he's intimidated. So, do we appoint that guy my spy master? It's really bad. I think uh, diplomacy is probably the only quality that potentially is a good thing. But that's going to lower every vassal's opinion because this guy... Hmm. Maybe I'd go this route. Maybe we do bestow royal favor. I don't think it'll be enough time. But we can try. He's madder at me? <laughs> I don't really know how. Oh, because these guys, he's not focusing on... Okay. Alright, well, this guy died. So I need somebody new anyway. I guess we can assign this guy. And hope that... He'll be happy enough with us shortly. Oh yeah, I'm at war. And that's not the only thing I need to worry about. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Well then. Let's go ahead and try to stop these guys real quick. I don't think there's much I can do here. Wow, negative 50. That's really bad. Okay, so that guy's happier with me. But still not, like, super happy with me. I'm gonna go ahead and do domestic affairs. And just try to get back to a very positive relationship. 
plus 89 is really good. I mean, this guy should drop out of the faction, but I'm not 100% sure that he will. All right, I definitely neglected my army a little too much there. All right, let's, uh, let's split these guys up. So everybody is starving to death, which is definitely not good. At least the uh, su supply ratio is pretty good over here. So we should we should resupply fairly quickly. Yeah, so this triggered. I was hoping... Okay, so that guy did drop out. It just... He wasn't enough. Okay. Well, we're going to have a little bit of independence faction going on here momentarily. But that's okay. All right, so we just finished guilds. Guilds gives me an extra domain limit, which is good. Uh, bow making. Can recruit crossbowmen as men at arms. That's going to happen in 19 months anyway. So I would say... I like the idea of pressing several claims in a single war, but I don't know how necessary it is. Um, you know, I'm going to go with Castle Castle Bailey's. Uh, I think that's probably the best course of action right now. All right, I need to get out of this war so I can go stomp that independence faction. Because they're going to be seizing a lot of territory very quickly. And they have the potential of doing a large amount of damage. All right, why are we not... Oh, I'm not I'm not in my, my territory. Jeez. That's really bad. I uh, definitely overlooked that one. All right, let's get in our own territory. Which I am in here. Right? No, that's an ind Oh, that's an independence faction. Cool. I guess we'll I guess we'll just take this territory while we're at it. There's a lot of seizing going on here, which is not good. All right, let's go ahead and become friends with that person. I don't know. Is any of this worth it? I don't think anything in anything else in this tree is any good. Maybe overseer would be a good route to go. Try to just make everybody a little more afraid of me. Slash happy with me. All right, let's go ahead and take this territory. Uh, let's end that. I think we can march in here and resupply. Try to take over this territory. Wow, there's a lot of... A lot of territory getting taken here. Which is not great. Let's consolidate these guys. Hopefully. Taking this back over will end this, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so this guy. Alright, where are their armies? That's what I need to look at. Okay, there's an army there. Problem with this kingdom being so dang massive, they're just taking taking over giant chunks of land, and there's very little I can do about it, as far as like getting there in a timely fashion. All right, I think I'm gonna have to maybe march. I don't know if it's even worth going over here. Probably want to get closer to where units are. 
So let's march in this direction. It's still going to be pretty rough as far as supplies go. Yep, there we go. All right, we're going to have to break this up and temporarily resupply. All right, let's get some resupply going on here. Once they're fully resupplied, we can continue our march. Okay, there we go. We got a victory there. Let's get this done with. That war is at least out of the way. I think we can go march on this territory. Try to take this over. Yeah, I did lose a counselor. That guy was really good, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, let's go ahead and add this guy. He, he should be pretty decent. This guy's awful. I suppose I'm not at as big of a risk anymore of that guy like going to war with me or anything. So, all right, this territory that puts us over the domain limit, I do want to kind of shrink this down a little bit. Who can I appoint? Let's go ahead and find a character. Male non-rulers of my dynasty. And let's sort them by some of all skills. You're pretty young. You're pretty young and you're of my, my core dynasty. So let's go ahead and grant you a title here. I did kind of want to grant that guy. Eh, you know what? We're never going to make it up here to this kingdom. So <clears throat> I guess I'm not that worried about it. Let's go ahead and go back to here. And it was this guy. Give him some of this territory here. He should be pretty happy with me after that. Does look to be that way. All right, let's march over in this direction. They are taking over a lot of territory very quickly. Right, advanced bow making has been discovered. I don't even know if we're going to make it there in time. So I'm going to need to sp I'm going to need to split up some of my troops here. Get some recovery going on. I need to at least engage in a battle and do some damage to them and then reseize some territory. Uh, my rival has died. Well, that's good, I think. Oh, this is terrible territory. Right, they are going to get that. There's not much I can do about that. Alright, let's try to consolidate. No, they got 100% war score. Nope. There it goes. Alright, so that's unfortunate. So, we're going to have some more territory we're going to have to seize back. I think it actually should be pretty straightforward to do. Because uh, none of these territories are particularly large. And now that they're all independent, I can attack each one individually. So, it does kind of suck that that happened. But it should be a fairly straightforward uh, consolidation process. So, we will uh, continue that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, see more content in the future, and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.